All right, uh, we're back, baby. Uh, 531. Okay, so now let's create a new um, assembly. Right, so this would be the final assembly for the whole thing. We've got our combustion chamber, exhaust, fan, and pressure turbine. We've got our high pressure compressor, high pressure turbine, and low pressure turbine. Right, so all of these things are moving except for one, which is the exhaust. So generally, when you're talking about um, a turbofan engine, the exhaust doesn't move, right? So these things, they spin, they spin, they spin, they spin, they spin, except for the exhaust. And for the, um, and for the, for the combustion chamber, I don't think the combustion chamber um, spins. Right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to select an object that does not spin. So I'm going with exhaust. I think that's the best one. I'm just going to put that there. Uh, let's go ahead and insert more components. So exhaust. Um, let's add in our fan. All right. Insert component. Um, add in our low pressure no no high pressure compressor okay so as you can see my drawing is still shown uh, we can hide that later so uh, let's add in another component the high pressure turbine all right and then the low pressure turbine Okay, and then let's add in our combustion chamber. Okay, so now we have all six parts. Okay, so first let's get rid of the, um, the images, right? So I think this is the low high pressure compressor. We can hide the image by um, select the, selecting the drop down menu of that part and then hiding the sketch number three, okay? Same thing goes for the high pressure turbine. Sketch number three and hide. And there you go. Now we have our, um, whatever you wanna call this, All right? So let's go ahead and assemble. Uh, we can do that simply by selecting this part, okay? Select the inner circle of the um, fan and low pressure compressor. Select mate. Right? And then select the, um, the cylinder part of this. And make sure that they're coincentric. Okay. Click OK. And now you can drag this outwards. Okay, drag this inwards. Ah, there you go. You can drag this outwards. Okay, so now they are coincentric. So this will move accordingly. Okay. Now what we can do next is we can have this. This a face. Select this face. Right, and select this face, and make them coincident click OK and now they're merged right so now you can't move them apart next we need to go with the um, the high pressure compressor high pressure turbine again select the outer cylinder and then select this part and then make them coincentric click OK but then of course you can still move this away so now let's add some glue select this surface and select that surface um, make them coincident click OK okay now for the final touch uh, not the final touch um, let's have this oh wait no first let's make them coincentric we can do that simply by selecting this circle okay so there's a difference between 
the circle's edge and this part and this um what do you call this this surface right so we want the circle or just the edge right uh, and we want this edge right and then we're gonna set them as coincentric click OK but then you could also you could still move them now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add glue select this surface and select this surface and make them tangent all right I don't think it's working now hmm. oof, 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 oof. Tangent. Yeah, it's not gonna work. Mm, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Select this. Select mate. Select this. Tangent. Yeah, no, no, no. I don't think it might. I don't think it, it would work. Hmm. Or right, how about this circle? And this face there you go <laughs> so again instead of selecting the face to face select edge to face like okay and now it's inseparable uh, lastly um, there should be a space between this part and this part but since you know this is um, yeah we don't need that let's just put them together so this select the face first oh wait no no not the face select the edge first and then select the edge of this circle or any of the circles right and make them coincentric so now that they're coincentric you can drag this oops oh yeah okay so Remember how I told you guys that um, always pick the first one that doesn't move? Yeah, this one's grounded, so you can't move this part. You can only move this part, right? Oops. Yeah. All right. No. Yeah. Now it needs to go and look that way. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to select this face and select this face and we're going to make them tangent oh no you can't hmm. I guess you could select the edge to edge and tangent oh no 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 you can't hmm. Oh, right, yeah. What we could do is select this edge or whatever edge you guys might want to pick and select this edge. Right, click OK. Huh, it's still not yet working. No, um, I just jam this in. Um, all right. You know what? I'm running out of patience. Let's just go ahead and um. Oops, control Z. Just go ahead and drag this out. Select this face and select this face and make them coincentric. Oh, coincident. Click OK, and there you go. Now for the final bit, <coughs> select this edge, and then let's select um, let's select this edge right here, and let's make them coincident, uh, coincentric. Let's move this downwards, right? And now let's make this edge, I mean this face, 
and this edge coincident. Click OK. And there you go. This is now your engine. Bam, 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 bam. I'll be back, baby. Click OK. And there you go. This is now your assembly for your engine. So now you can move this. All right, you can move this. Yeah, it's moving, but you just can't see it. Yeah, you can also move this, even though it's not supposed to move. But you can lock this in place if you want. You can move this. All right. And you can move this. But you can't move this. Because this needs to um, stay still. Alright, so now we're done. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this series. If you guys want more series on how I make things, um, uh, let, wait, let's just go ahead and save this first. Rebuild and save the document. Yeah, but like what I said, uh, if you guys like um, my videos and you guys want more content, like more tutorials on how I make things, I've got a car ready, or I don't, oh wait, let me just save this as, um, engine pp lab yeah so the thing that i've been getting a lot of complaints about is that uh you guys don't know anything about solidworks so my advice to you guys is just don't be intimidated by solidworks solidworks is pretty easy just as long as you um invest time in it and um you know have the passion to um basically study about these things these concepts right and hopefully one day you'll be able to um you'll be able to make um something like this right i'll just uh open something for you guys uh, i basically made the car uh never mind i'll just show it to you guys some other time but for now uh this is me signing out Oh wait, no, uh, let me just show you guys how you can, um, no, never mind, that's for another time. Alright, um, sorry, I keep, um, my mind's floating right now, because it's already 5.43am, I haven't slept, um, uh, I need coffee, uh, the sun's already up, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this series of videos, if you guys want more, please like and subscribe, share if you want to. Uh, I'm not forcing you guys to do anything, but if you do want to share it to others, it's fine. Uh, especially for the first years, since they are also going to be taking SolidWorks in the future. I'd love to help them out, right? And for, yeah. yeah. Alright, see you guys. Bye.